parks, schools, restaurants, and more, Assembly Row gets high scores. We're at Thriving City with so much to do on Boston Harbor in our view. Politics, cannabis, controversial stories, heroes, villains, who gets the glory? 50 plus languages in Somerville is spoken. Sanctuary City, there are no free tokens. The history in Somerville stays alive. In all American city, we won three times. Somerville connects. Somerville connects. Welcome to another edition of Somerville Connects. Tonight we have a very special guest, Elise Warsaver, Director of Sales from The Row in Somerville at yes. Assembly Row. At Assembly Row. Welcome, Elise. Thank you. So, Elise, how did you arrive here? So, funny story, I actually arrived before the hotel even opened. You did? Yes. So, I actually I'm the longest employee of the row hotel at assembly row so tell us give us a little uh timeline when did this all begin so the thought of the row began many many years ago but then i was brought in in may of last year of 2018 correct of 2018 mm -hmm. um so i was brought in and i actually lived in a little um maybe in cafe nero a lot was where i started working before the hotel opened and then the property opened August 10th of last year. Right, because I was there like around September 15th and yes. I walked in and I went, oh my God, look at this place. Yes. It's magnificent, it's beautiful. So what do you do? What does the director of sales, what do you really do, Elise? What at do the I road? really do? Yeah, what do you really do? That's such a great question. <laughs> Um, so, like the radio station, you're trying to connect to people. Correct. The hotel itself, what my job is, is to connect people to the hotel. So, my ah. job is to get as many people in the doors as possible, hopefully have them get married at the hotel. Oh, my goodness. Have a meeting with me, just stay overnight. So, that's my job, is to kind of tell the world about the property. I was looking online. Okay. And I have to tell you, I looked at the cabanas. Yes around the pool area yes. and I went, this is really exotic. I have never in my life seen something so beautiful how they have these round structures. I'm mm -hmm. saying, this is indoors. Yes. I mean, this is more beautiful than things that you see outdoors. Right, right. The whole architect, everything inside the row is, it's amazing. Yes. It's like a work of art. It is, exactly. And everything was thought of when it was placed in the property. So that's great, because the neighborhood itself, Assembly Row, was the old Ford Assembly plan. Right. So we took that thought and that design and we brought it into the property. Now, how did they find you? How did they? Yeah, what was your expertise before you arrived here in Somerville? So before I arrived here, I actually used to work at the Omni Parker House Hotel <gasps> Oh my downtown. God, so you know the Winnickers. The Win I don't know the Winnickers. They're the band, Bo Winnicker. They the jazz band. They That's, worked at the Omni Park. Oh, they did work there. Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. See, everyone's connected. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. So you worked there as a director of sales. I there? was the associate director. Okay. And then, so that's actually, so what's interesting, that's the longest continuously operating hotel in the United States. I heard that. Yes. So I was going from that to the newest hotel in the United States, essentially. So I had, I was just excited to be part of an opening, excited to be part of the marketing team and the sales team and just getting people to experience the neighborhood that I fell in love with even before it opened because I've this, been coming here for a while. This is a fabulous neighborhood. Yeah. So tell us some of the wonderful attributes of the Row Hotel and why people should visit. What are some of the things that you offer because it's not your typical right. hotel. Be besides, you are there. Right, exactly. Well, you get to meet me. <laughs> but in addition to that, we are a Marriott property, but we're a Marriott oh. autograph collection. I don't know what that means. So you sign your name, right? Are you, is your signature unique unlike anyone else's? It certainly I mean, is, exactly. right. Exactly, so that's what the hotel is. Oh. So it takes the area 
So our, and we call it the mark. And our mark is unlocking assembly row. And we're creating a unique experience that you can only experience if you walk through the hotel doors of the row hotel assembly row. Okay, so give me an idea. I, wa I am coming to the hotel for the first time. Yes. Let's say I'm getting married. Okay. What is gonna be my experience? Take us there because the whole idea of us getting together is we want people to come and visit right. your great hotel. Right. So I think a wedding, it's distinctly each individual's own. And that's what the, the hotel does. Mm -hmm. So what we try to do is we try to learn prior to people coming in, why they're coming, what they need, so we can create a unique experience for each individual. Right. Because that's what our property is. So for a bride, for example, everyone's perfect day is, is different, right? They've been dreaming about it forever. So like the Ford assembly plant, we assemble that day based on their needs. Oh, how perfect, assembly yeah. row. So it's different assemble. every time, so I can't even answer that question. Okay, okay. Yeah. So when people come and stay at your hotel, like mm -hmm. what is different, let's say about the rooms, yeah. the mattresses, what is, what is unique about the row hotel? Yeah. So guests will experience a high level, high quality product, because we are a four star property. Wow. But in addition to that, if you walk around the neighborhood, you'll see the sidewalks are very wide and they've done that intentionally. So people have this relaxation when they're walking around to the different stores. I did not know that, is yes. that why? Yes. The sidewalks are wide? So wide, yes. So people can feel relaxed? Yeah, so people aren't on top of each other. Are you saying that thinner sidewalks make people feel tense? I mean, do you like people around your, your kind of bubble? I don't think New Englanders oh. are very friendly with that. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. So it gives people this space. Yes. And just like, you know, like you don't oh. feel rushed if you have someone on top of you, behind you, you know, trying to push you along the sidewalk. It's more I, casual. You see, these are the things that the average people don't think about. Right. But you're telling us, right. this right. is great. Yes. So we took the concept of the sidewalks and we kind of brought that into the guest rooms. And you can actually see it. It's um, our tile emulates the sidewalks. But then what we did was really? we elevated it with these beautiful handmade wool rugs that you cannot get like anywhere. Really? Mm -hmm. So that, so you have that, but then in addition, even like we have a great beautiful TV that's quite large, but we've back, we put a backdrop on it. So it's not like the part, part of the, ho of the room. It's just an, an almost like an art component. I have to property. come in and look at a room. Yeah. I want to, I want to experience this. Yeah. And the, the rooms are pretty much an all sweet product, I like to say, because our standard room, you have a nice large king bed, and then you have a large sitting area with a queen, um, with a couch that turns into a queen sofa bed. Oh. I know. So, so for per friends. Really? Yes. This isn't a timeshare type of place. No. To, so it's like, this is really an exclusive place to to be. Exactly, yes. Wow. And then even the decor, like what you mentioned when you walked into the lobby and you're like, wow, that decor has carried through every single floor. I was property. I was floored. Yeah, floored. No pun. Yeah, no pun intended. Yeah. I was floored. <laughs> I walked in, I went, I would, and I was with my brother and my sister-in-law. I okay. said, let's go to the assembly row and celebrate your birthday for a day. And I right. went, let's stop in. It's and, perfect. Let's stop in. In, in, in the row yes. to check it out. And I went, yes. wow, I want to come here for brunch. Yes. I want to come here and eat because I love food. Yes. So tell us about the restaurants. What's unique about the restaurants? So our executive chef, Corey Williams, is amazing. If you think about like, you go into this intimate little restaurant with four tables, and then he brings that experience into like the banquet setting. So you have a group of 200 people or like the intimate experience at Reflections, which is our dining room and he, everything is handmade, and he puts so much passion into like bringing the local product into the hotel. Like we're already revising the menu again for a more seasonal summer um, products. So he's, so we do bring new and fresh things every day. So is everything that you're doing, is it all fresh? And yes. uh, you know, like, do you get your, do you grow like your own herbs and? So we don't grow our own herbs, but we do source locally from the area. Beautiful. And we really try to source from Somerville itself. You do? Yes. Yes. So like we use a lot of like Taza chocolate. I was going to say product. that you were reading my yes. mind because we have great chocolate here. We have here. great chocolate here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's great. But then even like he does, he, do, he tries to do things a little outside the box. Like we have pollen dusted um, salmon. I have no idea what that is. It's, it's this like unique pollen spice that he uses to infuse into the food. So it's spectacular. The desserts and are great. The what kind are of great. desserts? Oh my goodness. The desserts change all the time. Like in really? the fall we had 
um, we called them carrot, uh, carrot cake fries almost. Oh. And um, there were these carrot cake churros on top of this like very fragrant, like fall cinnamon um, mascarpone with like these oh candied raisins. It was amazing. Yeah, he's does, amazing. Does he come up with all his own concoctions? Yes, he's a very creative, very passionate gentleman. Yeah. And where did you folks find him? I don't even know where we found him. But he's there. He landed on our doorstep. What happens when he takes a day off? <laughs> He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's he's very passionate about the about the kitchen. And what's great is he's our chef. So he cooks for like if you do a big banquet event with us, he'll be your chef. Or if you just come off the street and you want to have kind of an intimate dinner, intimate lunch, he'll be your chef too. What is the name of the restaurant? So the name of the restaurant is really unique. It's called Reflections. Okay. Now, when you walk into the hotel, you kind of fall right into Reflections. Because it's part of the lobby. That's on the left side, or is it on the right side? Because it's kind of in the center. If you walked in, you just go straight. Okay, because I really know. reflections is the whole lobby. Okay, okay. Because um, we do service throughout the whole entire lobby, but um, it's called reflections because we have these beautiful design um, sculptures. They're called magiscopes. I saw Did those. Did you see those? They're beautiful. They're so pretty. So this designer Feliciano. Italiano. Italiano. Italiano, of course. Actually, I think he's, I don't think he's Italian, but he, so F he. Feliciano? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> um, so he actually, he had a lot of issues when he, a lot of health problems. Okay. So instead of kind of focusing on the problems, he always thought, hey, I need to think more positive. I need to focus on the, you know, the more positive things in life. Of course. So then from that, he was really into like reflections and looking through different, seeing things in different ways. Nice. Yes. So after it rained, he would be really interested in like the puddles and how the light. Oh, I, I love this. Does this guy hang out there? Yeah, he's passed away. But oh, yeah. no. I know, but he lives on <laughs> well, through he, his design. He's hanging out somewhere else. Yeah, he's else. hanging out the row because he's in our lobby, basically. When did he pass away? A while ago. Yeah. Okay, so he came up with all these ideas. Yeah. So the magiscopes are in our lobby. And they have like the circle, so the designs that represents the water. And then they're made out of old car parts. Oh, I love that. Which emulates the Ford Assembly plant. Oh, this is fabulous. Yeah, they're amazing. Those they're beautiful sculptures. Do you only have one restaurant? So we have one restaurant, um, Reflections, which is kind of the bar, and then but then we also have the Reflections dining room portion, which is where breakfast is served. I heard there's music there. On Friday nights, is that true? So we do do um, really fun activations, not every Friday, but we do do them um, a couple times a month. Well, we'll bring in live music and different, uh, maybe do a cocktail class. Um, you do a cocktail class? Yeah, all different fun things. Oh. So that, you have to follow us on social media. Okay, follow you, and it's under the row. No, the row hotel at Assembly Row. The row hotel at Assembly Row. We should make up a song about I this. I know. It kind of is catchy. It it's is like, very, very catchy. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about the bees. You have something very interesting yes. on your rooftop. We have some interesting hotel guests that we have acquired. Really? Um, from the Boston Bee Company. Do, do say. So we have two little beehives located on the roof. How little? They're not that, they're probably like this high from the floor. That's not little. No. That's from. They're big. From, yeah, that's huge. And they're Italian bees. How do you know they're Italian? That's what we were told. And apparently, Italian bees—they are the most gentle, friendly bees. Of course out there. they are, folks. You heard it here. <laughs> Italian bees. Italian. Come on. <laughs> do they say uh, "Come stai"? <laughs> I think they're still babies. They're still learning to talk. But uh, do they get imported from, uh, from Italy? Um, no. I mean, how, did, how do we know they're Italian? That's what, because that's what we were told. Really? Yes. Okay. That's... There's different types of bees in the world. Okay. So these are Italian bees, honeybees. And what's, and what do they do that other bees don't do? Or just... So what's interesting about them is they do not work where they sleep. Oh. Yes. So where do they work? So they work within kind of a two mile radius of where they live. How do they track a bee? Do they have like a GPS on them that they know where they go? Well, it's interesting. So when they arrive, when they checked in at the hotel, yeah. they, um, for, the, for the first week, they actually flew in figure eights to kind of get acquainted with the neighborhood. And were they happy? They're okay. happy. How do you know that they're happy? Because we, we, we they come and inspect them. There's these beekeepers that come in 
and we let them on the roof and they make sure that we're taking good care of them. So they can tell by the way the bees are moving around that they're happy. Right. Yeah. <sighs> they're, like the, they're like the trip advisor of hotels. They sound like the, um, what, what do you call it, the bee whisperer. Yeah, they're the bee whisperer. They can tell. Yes. So you mentioned earlier how the bees leave yes. basically where they are. Yes. They take off for two miles and where do they go? So they, they go find the pollen and then they come back to the hive after. So it's similar, it's very similar to the neighborhood of Assembly Row. Okay. Because you know that there's several people that live here. Sure. So they kind of fly and buzz to the tea. Right. They take the tea to work and then they kind of come home after the day is over. It's just like the bees. Now, do the bees ever like get lost or do they all come back? Um, I think, yeah, no, they all work together as a team and they figure their way home because they did the it's, figure eight, so they have an idea. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's so I guess we could say, what's the buzz? Yeah, what's the buzz? What's yeah. the buzz? Tell me what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Tell me something unique about yourself Myself. because we really don't know much about you, except you told me earlier that you came from New Hampshire. Yes. So how does a New Hampshire girl end up at the Omni Parker House? then ends up here at the row yeah. as so, director of sales, which is a huge job. Right, it's exciting, it's fun. So my, actually my grandparents got married at the Parker House. They did, yes. well that's beautiful. Like 60 years ago. So nice. I kind of, I fell in love with the connection of the city. Oh, that's nice. You know, and, and the Parker House is so established within mm -hmm. Boston. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't mess, I couldn't kind of take this position you know, I was so excited to take it because I was ready to create that same connection within Somerville. Right, right. Because it's such a great, very local, only 10 minutes from downtown. It's a, it's a great neighborhood and great city. So what are you passionate about in your life? What do you do when you're not working? Yeah. I mean, I love um, to run. I like to take nice. walks. Like, like I walked around Ball Square and Magoon Square right. the other day. Yeah. Um, I like to cook. I nice. like to ski in the winter. My family is, we're big skiers. Beautiful. And do you live here in Somerville? Or? So I live in Charlestown. Oh, nice. But I walk to work every day, pretty much. You walk to work? Yes. That's beautiful. Great. a mile and a half. From That's here. beautiful. Yeah. So do you have any last words that you'd like to share? Well, what, what you'd like to tell people to come to yeah. the row? I want to just let people know that our doors are open. So if you are not a guest, still come in, enjoy like all of our amenities in regards to reflections and the lobby. Um, and then in addition, we do all these really fun activations. One that we just did last week um, is Thursday Terrace, Terrace Thursdays. What is that? Oh, it's awesome. Tell so me, tell now me. Now that the weather is beautiful, mm -hmm. we have kind of taken our bar and we've moved it to our outdoor terrace. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, so we have some really cool live music out there on Thursday, on starting at 5.30. Is this every Thursday? Every Thursday. And do you have like a guitar player or a yeah. singer? We had um, a gentleman last week that was from The Voice playing. Oh. I know. Wow. And it was amazing. It was amazing. So you can just kind of come with your friends after work or, you know, before you go home. And there's some really cool elevated cocktails. It's super casual, like really fun, enjoyable. And if it's rainy, do you bring it indoors? You yeah, still... we bring it indoors if it's okay, a little cool. rainy. Okay, but good. It's and, really fun. And you're there to supervise. Yeah, supervise. Yeah, my job is so difficult. No, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you <laughs> have a tough job. Yeah, it's really fun. Thank you so much yeah, for joining us, Elise fun. War Shaver. War Shaver. What Just, a name. It's, War it's, Shaver. Yeah, it's a great Elise name. War Shaver. It sounds like they shouldn't mess with you. No. Not, Never. No. Never. Is that a German name? <laughs> it's German, yes. Yavo. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. Yeah. I, I look forward to seeing you around the row. Thank you. And you're a lovely, lovely, <laughs> lovely human being. You're funny, too. You, too. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you, folks, for joining us for Somerville Connects. Somerville connects. Somerville connects.